Welcome back, and if you remember last time I had masked off these uh, rear windows so I could actually sand the outside edges, the flanges, where they're going to be bonded to the fuselage and they'll be bonded on both sides, so effectively encapsulating the window uh, to make a nice uh, strong um, joint between the two. And here you can see both of them are done now, so of course the packing tape's still on there to protect the actual finished uh, window. Um, and then there's been more work, a little bit more work I've done um, just in preparing the inside of the fuselage to accept these windows. So next week uh, they'll be bonded into place um, and that will be the first step in towards getting the fuselage together. And meanwhile the guys are moving along with uh, more mold work. So this is the uh, right upper straight skin mold and obviously the mold's already been laid up and um, there's some foam on there to create the platform for it and just uh, ready to be hot wired on the top to flatten it out. And here you can see Chris is just finishing off with uh, laying a little bit of peel ply on the seams there after uh, that foam has all been glassed into place to uh, complete that platform. So that's looking good. And this is actually that um, the same mold there just now released. So there you can see underneath that's the upper straight skin. So the first part of the wing closest to the fuselage. So that one uh, just needs to be trimmed off now and it's complete. And you recall last time this one had just got the top coat on it. So here uh, you can see Zach is uh, laying down the um, medium weight um, fiberglass there on the inside wheel well to get that, that one underway. And um, so that's the other side one I was already done for that. So with this one here we're actually getting close to having all of the upper and lower skins for the strake uh, done which is actually kind of exciting because then we'll be on to doing the molds for the actual wing itself. And now we've got the whole crew jumping in to get this one done so uh, again just laying down the medium glass so that'll still require a uh, heavy layup on that which actually is getting done um, today Saturday. So that's that one done and we have one more um, strake part left to do now. So now we have the uh, right side lower wing skin um, plug that's finished and ready to have the mold done and the core cut for that. So those molds are going to be different. They're actually going to have core in them to make them more uh, rigid. But anyway, you'll see that either next week or the week after. And once again, this is that lower uh, wing strike side there. So that one's uh, now again done on the first lightweight layers or medium weight layers and just requires the heavy to be done and that, that's as I said is being done today Saturday so with Mark's help we figured out how we're going to do the hard points on the outside door frames and so it's basically going to be a um, piece of FR4 here so we're going to take two of these and bond them together to create an inch thick uh, FR4 and those going to be embedded into the door frame and then drilled and bushed um, for where the pins go through. And this is the last remaining uh, strake plug now. This is, so this is the left upper side strake and it's just getting the final sanding now. So that's with a uh, 32400 in preparation for being waxed and set up so we can pull the last mold for the strakes there. And last time you saw the overhead console that I was sort of trimming in preparation for mating up with the roof braces and now I've gone and actually cut out the opening there for where the overhead uh, switch panel is going to be. So there you can see sort of just nicely cut out and we'll obviously still have to create that insert as well. And this is that mold for those door strake um, add-ons that you've already seen because we've already actually laid up the parts for that but um, didn't ever get a brace on it so that's something that's underway now. And these are those FR4 blocks that we're using for the door frames for the hard points. So here you can see they're bonded together now with some of the structural resin that we use for um, you know, creating the parts for the fuselage and such. And here's that uh, last of the upper strake skin plugs now. It's uh, finished the sanding and waxing and now it's got the rubber profile put on there. So that one will be the next mold uh, that will be pulled and that will be the last of the strake molds to be done. And here's the main spar. I didn't get to bond it uh, this week because we decided to get some more viscous um, high sole. We've ordered that and that should be in next week. Uh, but anyway, trimmed the ends off there and so that one is now ready next week to be bonded 
to the aft bulkhead which is sitting here and you can see I've actually trimmed off that closeout for the front of where the intake is and that's sitting in there that that'll be bonded in as well so and then the rear windows will be bonded in next week so there's a bunch of stuff going on next week and including we should be getting our engine and stuff back as well next week and lastly here's um, this one center console plug that we messed up by not doing as a two-part and you see Jeff's kind of recovering from that has cut it in half and uh, created a, a little uh, flange board there so that'll be um, bonded onto to create the flange and then the other side which you can see here that's already been cut off that will be put back in and another the other side of the flange uh, created from that so we'll get that one all done and then we'll have all the parts all the molds ready to lay up all the parts for the dash as well anyway that's our update for this week and thanks again for watching